Depression is a range of different things, a range of different feelings, and it's important for people to understand that. What describes depression for me was like a downward spiral. With me, I feel like it's months of numbness. I hate it so much. Depression is having no self-worth. If I was going to describe to someone who has never experienced it, ever, it's like trying to explain a colour that they can't see. To me, depression just started off with general sadness. Like, I didn't know I had depression. I didn't really want to do anything. I didn't want to go out. I didn't want to go to school. Just, yeah, I just didn't want to do anything, really. It all just sort of hit me that I'm not myself anymore. I kept switching between being really numb and being really unstable, and I just couldn't handle going through that over and over again. It just affected everything I did, really. I just got paranoid more often as well, thinking, oh, everyone's judging me, everyone who I'm around. I used to enclose myself within my room. I used to remember um, making myself physically sick. So I can actually say to my mum, I feel sick so I can't go into school. I think for me, because I have like quite a short temper anyways, I don't really express my emotions through like crying. So I used to like just snap at anyone, I used to get so angry. I felt like I was missing out on being a teenager. Like even though I'd go out and I'd do all the teenage things, I wasn't enjoying it. I must have been about 13 when like I said this all started and I couldn't speak to my friends about it because being that young they wouldn't be the right people to speak to, they'd probably be like, oh you'll be fine the next day. My dad frequently said like as I was growing up that depression didn't exist so I didn't tell anyone in my family. It wasn't that I was expecting them to pull me out of depression but I wanted them to know what their daughter was going through. I didn't really show a lot of people that it affected my life. Like, my friends knew about it because I used to suffer from really bad panic attacks. So I used to, like, rip out my hair and, like, scratch my skin and stuff. So then my friend actually, like, literally forced me to go to the doctors. It's an hour to get everything off your chest and nobody in the world needs to know what you said. You get given one person there who you will get to build up a bond with. And that's what really benefited me as I grew up. Counselling means you don't feel like you're burdening someone else, and especially if they didn't understand it and then they didn't know what to say and they didn't want to feel bad. She, she was able to reassure me that I'm a good person, so that was relieving. You can just go in there and just tell them what you're feeling and they'll give you an honest opinion and stuff but obviously your first time of thinking okay i have to go to this this, this location you know you're, obviously you're going to be scared because you don't know what to expect it's the worst thing you could do is to keep it bottled up and not tell anyone i'd say it's like a a bag of wires, it might be in a mess at the time, but obviously then if you open up and get help, then they can help you unravel those wires to actually find the main trigger of your problem. Be truthful with yourself, like, you've got to be like, this is what I'm going through, this is what I'm scared of, this is what I want to happen in the future, but I don't know if I can get there. And then you've got to have enough trust and enough courage to take the risk and tell someone. And you've got to just realise that they're not alone, because maybe in a dark room, by themselves, but they've got to just turn the light on, there's people all around them sort of thing. I always go by the saying, it's okay not to be okay. Like, it's all right if you're not all right, if that makes sense. Having depression doesn't make you any worse of a person than anyone else. It just makes you different. 